Hi, today I am going to be showing you how to get the IG trading Python API from GitHub and install it on your machine and try out some sample scripts. So essentially what you do is IG Python API GitHub, kind of the first one that comes up, this um, this project. Um, so you, you can get the the pre the Python prepackaged uh, object, which essentially you can just do a pip install on it. Um, but I feel it's better to download the whole project and and kind of work on this project to understand its limitations, so you can build more reliable code that way. Uh, as you, in the end, you are trading money, so it's better to have a better understanding of what's going on. So yeah, once you download it, it should come up as a zip file. And then when you extract it, you should have something like this. And then essentially what you want to do is open a project. So you want to say file, open, navigate to that folder here, and open it. Essentially, you don't want to do it in your downloads folder somewhere more reliable, like a documents folder. But this is just for ease sake. So essentially, you've got this code here. Um, the most important aspect is this, but, uh, this bit. This essentially has all the logic that does the trades, positions, instrument data, historical data, that all that comes from this section here. The best of here are just tests, as so you can have a look at to see how the code works. The other product I did on gathering instrument data builds off from, from these core concepts. Yeah, and one other thing you'll probably want to do is add an interpreter. So after you've installed Python, um, it, it's good practice to install um, a virtual a, um, a virtual environment. So you would want to have a base interpreter. So before you do that, you would do something like uh, so you want to go to project int Python interpreter, and essentially you would have something like this. So you want to build a new virtual environment based on the current um, Python. On your machine, so Python version you've got. So this is Python 3.9, basic, um, and then you would use that that build its own virtual environment on this local project. Um, and once you do that, you have something like this, and you can just add more and more libraries to it and take them away, and that way you have all your libraries confined into one project. It makes it easy to work with. There's less um, conflicts with with different packages interacting with each other to grab resources in, in that way. Yeah, so that's it in a nutshell. Oh uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.